Zen is a base or parent theme for Drupal. It features lean semantic HTML5 markup and a starter kit for custom theme development. In these tutorials, I will show you how to install Zen and create a sub theme for Zen using Drush. I will also highlight some of the HTML5 markup in Zen's template files. Other lessons in the Markup and Drupal series also use a sub theme of Zen as a theme for the demo site. This was done to demonstrate how markup is first and foremost affected by the theme. It was also done to show how using a base theme that uses semantic HTML5 markup can be advantageous if you want to use HTML5 elements in the built out components and pages of your Drupal site. I'm on the project page for Zen at drupal.org slash project slash Zen. There's quite a lot of information here about the theme. One thing to note is that Zen comes in two flavors, a 3.x and a 5.x version. I'll be installing the 5.x version, which features HTML5 semantic markup, which will be the focus of these lessons. Zen also features responsive and mobile first layouts and also SAS and Compass integration, but we won't be focusing on that in these lessons. There is a lot of good documentation for Zen, including a section in the drupal.org handbook, and you can find that here on the project page. There are also several readme files in the project itself, as well as extensive code comments, which are very informative. Further down on the project page, we've got features at a glance, which you can peruse at your leisure, and information about the project. Down at the bottom are the recommended releases, and we'll be downloading the 7.x 5.5 version. You can download it here into your site's all themes, either using the tar.gz or the .zip. I'll be using Drush to download and install the module, and also to create a sub-theme. So let's go ahead and download the 5.5 version for Drupal 7 and take a look at some of the files that are included. I'm going to bounce over to my terminal window and I'll type in Drush DL Zen. Drush will now download Zen to my sites all themes directory in a folder called Zen. And now let's just take a look at what has been downloaded. So I've opened up the project in PHP Storm and you can see I'm navigated to Sites, All, Themes, Zen. And we have a number of folders and files here that compose the Zen base theme. So here's our readmefirst.txt and you can read this file first to find out more about base themes, sub themes and starter themes, some suggested reading. If you're totally new to Drupal theming, you can find the theme guide link here. And there's lots of documentation, not only in these readme files, but also in code comments and also in the community documentation in Drupal's handbook, which you can find a link here. So it's a good idea to read through this file to become acquainted with Zen and how it functions as a base theme. Now let's head back over to the project page and we can find a direct link to the community documentation here. So I'll head over to drupal.org slash documentation slash theme slash Zen. And I'm gonna skip over some things here and pop over to the create a Zen sub theme section. And I'm going to go to the how to build a sub theme Zen 7.x 5.x automated using Drush. So this is what we're gonna do now. First, we need to ensure that Drush knows about the Zen command and we can do that by enabling Zen using Drush and then heading over to the administrative menu and to the appearance page and setting the theme Zen as the default. Then our Drush Zen command will be available to run. We can take a look at the options available with this command by typing Drush help Zen and we'll do that in the terminal window after we've enabled the theme and set it as default. So I'm gonna head back over to terminal and enable the theme by typing Drush en Zen. It asked me if I wanna continue, I'll type Y and then enter. And even though the command is enabled successfully, in order to get the, the Drush command working, we need to set the theme as default. So I'll head back over to my site and in the administrative menu, I'll click on appearance 
and here we can see our enabled themes and here's Zen and I'll click set default. And now Zen is the default theme and the Zen command will be available in Drush. So I'll pop back over to terminal and now we can type in Drush help Zen to see the options for this command. So we just need to type in Drush Zen and then provide a theme name in quotes. Just with that, this command will create a sub theme and it'll create a machine name for your theme derived from whatever you put here. But I'm gonna provide a specific machine name. And so I'm gonna type in Drush Zen and then my theme name and then I'll provide a machine name as well. So let's try that out. And now a starter kit for Zen Demo has been created and that has been created in my Sites All Themes Zen Demo. If I navigate over to Sites All Themes and list out the directories here, you can see that Zen Demo is appearing right alongside Zen. So it's not inside of this folder or anything like that. It's functioning as a separate theme and now we can actually set the Zen Demo theme as the default. So let's head back over to the Appearance page and give this a refresh. And now we have our Zen demo theme and I can in one step enable and set as default. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Now our Zen demo theme is enabled and set as default and we're ready to customize it. But first let's take a look at some of the HTML5 features in the template files that the Zen base theme provides.